unicorns. So I was going on a walk this morning here at Elk Grove Park. There's a pond and there's a whole bunch of Canadian geese, you know, here and ducks and it's just so beautiful. I just had to be out in nature amongst these trees. And uh, as I was walking, I was really receiving uh, a lot of messages uh, from the Arcturians. I know myself to be Arcturian. I really commune so much with my Arcturian mother. I was getting so many messages yesterday. Actually, I was asking her for a lot of help because there were so many um, energies moving through me right now. Uh, I mean, yesterday was really super intense. There's a lot of solar flares and coronal mass ejections coming from the sun which means it's affecting the earth and it's affecting how we are moving through right now and so just want you guys to know that we are totally getting upgraded in our physical body in our light bodies and there's a lot of different uh, <laughs> physical sensations that can happen and i was having a lot of that yesterday move through me and just couldn't shake a lot of it so i had to do a, a self-healing ceremony and all these other things but the message that was coming through today from the Arcturian Council was about um, this journey here on the planet and how we are a multi-dimensional leaders now you're here on this planet totally by design this is not random that you chose to incarnate here during this time of ascension like you actually volunteer to to have this human experience to have this 3d experience and as we start on our spiritual path and our journey what starts to happen is we tend to want to really focus a lot on your upper chakras and and you know i want my third eye open i want my crown chakra open i want to be able to receive messages i want to be able to re uh, to to see visions you desire to have these clear abilities opened up and just know that that is happening that i mean th that will be happening for humanity just because we are changing changing in our light frequency and our codexes within the body but this experience and the reason why we chose this experience is about embodiment it is about bringing the soul into your body because we are having this human experience here we don't want to discount this earth self this self that is so connected to this dimension and so yes we want to rise up into the higher dimensions yes we are going to be doing that but in order for us to move through into higher dimensional frequencies we have to be here in our bodies and master us ourselves here in the physical and master our energetic field and so one of the things that came through was that leadership is something that we are here for uh, i want you to know did, did you wake up this morning and ask yourself or tell yourself that today i'm going to be a leader today i'm here for this journey and i'm going to embody quantum leadership so there's a difference between 3d leadership and quantum leadership or multi-dimensional leadership because in the 3d the way that we're taught as far as leadership goes you know we have to lead in like a corporation or we have to embody these certain skills so that we know how to influence people we have to have this kind of degree so that we can lead people i'm here to tell you like no because <laughs> that is the the way that our 3d society has programmed us to think that that's what leadership is but everybody here is if you're watching me then you are a multi-dimensional leader you are a quantum leader that you are here to embody your leadership your multi-dimensional leadership and when i say multi-dimensional leadership that means that it is knowing yourself 
as the multi-dimensional being that you are and bringing in all of your codes knowing all of your past lives present life future lives in your physical body opening up to your higher dimensional frequencies and your higher self know, knowing that source energy moves through you and it moves through you here here in your body and so that's kind of what a lot of uh you know teachers out there that i see in this spiritual space will really talk about like opening up your higher chakras or focusing you know on there but really th that's all good and that's going to happen but really it is about the the embodiment so how are you going to reside up here because when, when you're residing up here and all everything is so turned on like you're so sensitive to people you're so sensitive to things. You can't relate to other people because you're so up in here in the higher, you know, chakras that you, you, there's no way anybody can relate. So how can you lead from that space if you're just all up in here and you're, you're not residing here in your earth body, the earth realm where you are existing. Okay. You chose this experience for a reason and you chose being here at this specific time <laughs> on the planet for a reason so one of the things that moving through uh in, in this realm and this space is you will start to have initiations okay you may go through a dark night of the soul which is an initiation okay so i just want to tell you like for me like i went through dark night of a soul twice in my life where i wanted to leave this planet Okay, and I, I think if you guys have been watching me, I told you that my first initiation came when it, it was my Saturn return. But when I was 28 years old and I was pregnant and I lost that child and I couldn't believe that I lost the child and was really mad at God, at Jesus, my religion, all of that. But that baby, and I wanted to kill myself because it was so heartbreaking for me it was so whoo uh it, it was just a, a lot to experience that i had a miscarriage okay and i had a, and the baby came out of me and i saw the little teeny teeny tiny baby whoo in my hand and so i it was a lot to 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 experience and so I, I i went through this initiation of this dark night of the soul where like what was i gonna do was i gonna like exit this planet and leave my body because of this experience or was i going to move through that and really take that experience and overcome the sadness the darkness the depression and all of that and really really live and, and so that was my first dark night of the soul that i had and so we're going to be moving it, your initiation may not be that deep it can be in other different kinds of initiations in your life where you have to move through a certain challenge maybe it's something physical in your body that you have to move through you know whatever it is but we're here to experience different initiations so that we can experience our multi-dimensionality and that we can expand in knowing ourselves more from that space of the, the quantum and knowing ourselves as as energy and so another part of that is like when we move through our challenges when we move through the darkness within that's not an easy thing to do or to process or to go through like it is hard it's freaking hard when you're shadows are coming to the surface your karmic cycles your patterns your you know ancestral wounding is coming up to the surface it's not freaking easy and because we are living here in this space of duality and polarity and living this human experience but that is the part i want you guys to know that embodiment part is where it has to start is when you work through all of the things within you that are your slave codes right Th those codes 
that are that are holding you back where you don't think you're good enough where you don't feel like you're worthy you don't feel like you're deserving you don't want to shine your light where you're in judgment or feeling shame or feeling guilt or any of those slave codes because there's codes that enslave you and actually propel you to live your life in a certain way with that certain code within you so that you're not shining your light or you're always feeling this unworthiness so then you're not going to have good relationships or maybe you're feeling in 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 lack all the time and then you're not cre going to create financial abundance in your life what whatever those slave codes are those slave codes are meant to disempower us and so when we finally recognize those shadows those slave codes and we address them bring them up to the surface and start to work on them start to heal those things start to heal the patterns those cycles those those thoughts inside of you start to heal your body this is when that initiation process starts so for those that have come on, on retreat with me to Mount Shasta or Costa Rica I mean I honestly feel that when you say yes to plant medicine the sacred plant medicines it really is saying yes to that personal initiation and this ascension process is so vast it is is so complex that every single soul is going on its own journey now the way that leadership here is on the planet we're not we're not here anymore looking at any kind of guru to save us Okay, we're not looking at outside of us for someone to forge our path okay so all it is is that it is you being you and you living your divine soul blueprint and that is your path yes there are people who can guide you there yes i i totally believe that that there are people who can guide you people who have had their personal experience and if you relate to that yes there are are people like that on, on the planet and and i feel that there are people who go through these different initiations first <laughs> first and go through this embodiment process so that they can help the rest of the collective okay and if you feel that way about you then you're one of those multi-dimensional leaders i mean because i know myself to be that too just from my own personal experience and just having these initiations with experiencing the galactic beings and councils you know come to me and give me messages and working with the sacred plants and oh just moving through so much we're so complex and this ascension process is very very complex and it's very individualized and so this process that we're having coming into right now is this understanding and this remembrance of ourselves our true selves our true soul essence coming into the body okay so the thing about it is you can read all the books out there you can take all the courses out there you can watch a lot of spiritual videos or, or whatever yes you can have the concepts the knowledge all all of that can be stored up here in your brain but if you are not embodying it if it's not coming through you it's going to stay up there you're not going to have the experience of that embodiment here in the earth realm in your earth body okay so our bodies are so highly intelligent our bodies are so freaking freaking amazing you're the one who chose your physical body here that that you desired that you called in all those different experiences that you picked your parents your family and whatever else happened like your soul is the one that chose all of that and we're here for that embodiment of our true self so when you start living it and experiencing it and having things flow through you i mean this really came to me yesterday when i was feeling all these things and so much 
fear was coming up and so much anxiety was coming up and I'm just like what the heck is happening with the energy see I kind of like blamed it on something external and then when I finally sat within and and tuned within within me I'm like oh okay I finally figured out what that was <laughs> I finally knew my relationships and things my connections with different souls on the planet and how I'm connected in my soul soul group and how I have to transmute some things and and some of us do that we we transmute for the collective you transmute for yourself you transmute for your family your ancestors yes because we are freaking multi-dimensional divine beings of light so we're totally here for this and so I just want you to know that you're here as a multi-dimensional leader. You're here to experience yourself here in the earth body, but bring in that multi-dimensionality in the earth body. Okay, there's just so much to it all, but I just want you to know that you're doing such a good job. You are moving through things the way that you're supposed to move through right now, and it's super amazing how you're moving through in this earth realm and the more and more that you delve with within and you go you know within this is where i feel like your source of mastery comes it comes from within you your your deep connection to your higher self and to source energy and so when you do connect in that way then what happens is your external reality will start to shift and change. Your body will start to change. The way that you experience things will start to change. And this is why this embodiment experience is so vital right now. I, I mean, I look, I see now spiritual teachers and I see how the false matrix exists in the new age community too and how spiritual teachers you know they say all the right words they talk about ascension they talk about like ah oh, i'm embodied in my 5d or or whatever but then um, and they create like an image but have they really really embodied the higher dimensionality of of who they are okay so uh, this is why like when you start to get more attuned you can have a lot more discernment <laughs> a lot more discernment about what's out there in the world and so when i just see things like that and i see like you know a lot of people gravitating towards these spiritual teachers you know i just have so much compassion because i know that everybody's going through their own journey and everybody's doing the best that they can with whatever is moving through them in this specific now moment in time and so I guess what you know the just the clear message that I was getting from the Arcturians this morning was to really have to be here in your earth body to know that this is an embodiment journey this is an embodiment experience we're here to move our bodies we're here to feel you know through our our bodies we're here to express through our bodies we're here to experience life life all of it nature and everything with our bodies we're here to relate to people with our bodies and communicate with our bodies so this is an, an embodiment experience and we are all part of this human uh, race human experience our human you know family here on earth as well as our other star family galactic family our other families that are in the other dimensions but right now th this one here <laughs> this one here is is what we what we are really here to experience this is why we are here so i just want you to kind of feel into that for yourself and know that you're you're here on purpose just being you just being who you are just you expressing yourself in your divine blueprint that's your sole purpose that's your sole purpose here okay so people have difficulty like i don't know what my sole purpose is i don't know what my sole mission on the planet is so simple just be you that's it you being you 
you being you and then whatever it is that your wants your desires or what you desire to co-create like when you really get that you're here to be you what happens is you start to stream energy from god source within your body within you and then that source energy that's flowing through you you have this knowing inside that i am the co-creator i'm co-creating with god source i'm here to create i'm here to be the creator of this new earth of this experience and you guys are all here for the new earth okay you're here creating the new earth as multi-dimensional leaders you're here for that and so wake up in the morning and tell yourself that i, I am a multi-dimensional leader i am i am a multi-dimensional leader and and what is it that you're going to do today for yourself to inspire yourself so that you can inspire other people? What is it for you today as a multidimensional leader that you're going to do for your own embodiment so that you can help others embody? Okay, so everything starts with you first. All of it starts with you. I mean, you've heard that and probably a lot of self-help talk and self-help courses and all of that like it's you that needs to love yourself but what the frick does that mean right there's so much there's so much to that but really in essence it's bringing in your multi-dimensional self into who you really are this soul embodiment and there's so many pieces to that so i just kind of like had all of that in my throat chakra that I just wanted to like whoo get get out this morning I hope that was helpful and I, I hope that you're feeling really good about yourself as a leader on this planet who is going to make the changes so that we can step into the new earth frequencies and change change a lot of what's going on here because we are here for more beauty we are here for more divine interaction. We are here for more soul embodiment. We are here for joy. We are here to create just anything our hearts desires, whatever it is that we desire for ourselves. We're here to do that, to be that, to experience that. Okay, so just you living you as you are originally, you know, coded, that's why you're here. I love you guys so much. Have a beautiful, beautiful day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Namaste.